Hi, welcome to the math space station. I'm Astromath. I will take you and your friends on a journey to better understand your math with the help of my space gadget. In this episode, we will discuss on the topic of shape and space. Shape and space is important to us. Imagine the universe without shape and space. It doesn't look good, isn't it? Shape and space are classified into two categories. One, two-dimensional shape. Two, three-dimensional shape. There are many two-dimensional shape. Let's look at some of the example. Triangle. Triangle is divided into one. Equilateral triangle. It has three equal sides and three equal angles of 60 degrees. Two. Isosceles triangle. The triangle have two equal sides and two equal angles. 3. Scalene triangle. This triangle has no equal side and no equal angle. 4. Right angle triangle. One of its angle is a right angle. Quadrilateral shape has four sides. Some of the quadrilaterals are 1. Square. Which have four equal sides and four right angles. 2. Rectangle with two pairs of equal sides and four right angles. 3. Rhombus or squash square. This shape has four equal sides which opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. Parallelogram squash rectangle. This shape has pairs of equal sides which opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. Trapezium This shape contains one pair of parallel sides of different length. Kite This shape has two pairs of equal sides next to each other and no parallel sides. Circle, it is made of all the points that are the same distance from the center point. A diameter measures the distance right across the middle of the circle and radius, the distance halfway across the circle. Radius is always half the length of the diameter. Polygons are shapes with many straight sides. Regular polygons have equal angles and sides of equal length. Irregular polygons have side of different length. Polygons are divided to one pentagon, which have five sides. Two hexagon, which have six sides. Three heptagons, which has seven sides. And four octagons, which has eight sides. So many shapes to remember. Don't worry. For year 5, you only need to remember A square, rectangle, triangle, equilateral triangle, and isosceles triangle. Let's move on. Have you ever heard the words perimeter? You do? That is good. Perimeter came from the Greek word perimetros, which means very round metron measure well parameter is the distance around the outside of an object or shape it is measured in units of metric like centimeter and meter or imperial such as feet and foot the measurement needs to calculate a parameter depends on the shape a rectangle for example we will need to know the length and width of the shape to further understand how to calculate perimeter, let's look at this example. The square represents a plot of land owned by Afik. He wants to build a fan around his land. How much net does he need to go around the land? To calculate perimeter of a square, you need to remember a very simple formula. That is, at all the four sides of the square. So, a plus A plus A 
plus a equals to four a's. Let's say each of a fixed square length is three meters. This means three meters plus three meters plus three meters plus three meters equal to twelve meters. Or four multiplied by three equal to twelve. Now we know the perimeter of a fixed length. The answer is 12 meters. A fig needs 12 meters of net to be a fan all around its plot of land. What happened is a fig plot of land was a rectangle. To calculate perimeter of rectangle, you need to add up all four sides of the rectangle. So, A plus B plus A plus B equals to 2 A's plus 2 B's. Let's say this time A is equivalent to 5 and B is equivalent to 8. So 5 plus 8 plus 5 plus 8 is equal to 26. Or 2 multiplied by 5 equal to 10 and 2 multiplied by 8 equal to 16. 10 plus 16 equal to 26. The answer is 26 meter. A fig needs 26 meters of net to be a fan all around this plot of land. Now, what is a fig plot of land is a triangle shape. To calculate a perimeter of triangle, you need to add all the three sides of the triangle. So, A plus B plus C equal to perimeter. Let's say A is 5, B is 10, and C is 10. Means, 5 plus 10 plus 10 equals to 25. The answer is 25 meter. It's 25 meter of net to be a fan all around his triangle plot of land. Well, we have definitely helped Afik solve his fencing problem. Welcome to Problem Solving Skills section in this episode. As usual, in this section, you guys are going to solve a mathematical problem. Today's question is regarding the parameter of the composite 2D shape. Take out a piece of paper and a pencil to start. Well, here is the first question. Look at the diagram. To calculate parameter of square, you need to add up all four sides of the square. Like this problem, you have two square. But do remember, perimeter is the total distance around the outside of a shape. This is how you calculate the distance around the outside of the shape. Perimeter equals to 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus, 2 plus 1 equal to 14. The answer is 14 centimeter. Solve the question on the screen. Question 2. The object is made of 1 cm square. Find the perimeter of the figure. We know that each square is equivalent to 1 cm. We need to calculate the total distance around the shape to get the perimeter. Perimeter equals to 1 plus 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 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1 equal to 10 cm or 10 cm multiplied by 1 equals to 10 cm. The answer is 10 cm. Question 3. Find the perimeter of the following shape. Remember that the perimeter is a total distance around the outside of the shape. If you look at the diagram, the perimeter consists of two shapes. One of it is a triangle and the other is square. We measure it by adding the distance around the outside of these two combo shape. Perimeter equals to 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 6 equals to 36 meter. The answer is 36 meter. Now look at this question. The diagram show a triangle form with a piece of wire. Which of the following shape can be formed with the same piece of wire? 
To find the answer of this question, first we have to find the length of the wire. Then, find the identical length of the perimeter. Perimeter equals to 11 plus 14 plus 7 equal to 32 centimeter. Perimeter A, 12 plus 4 plus 12 plus 4 equal to 32 centimeter. Perimeter B equals to 8.5 plus 8.5 plus 8.5 plus 8.5 equals to 34 centimeter. Perimeter C, 13 plus 12 plus 5 equal to 30 centimeter. Perimeter D, 10 plus 8 plus 13 equals to 31 centimeter. The answer is A. Look at the screen. The object show a shape of Harris land. He wants to fence it up. Find the total length of the fan to be put up. 1. Understand the problem. There are some given information which is length of the certain side. You may need to find the total length. 2. Devise a plan to find the perimeter which is the total distance around outside of a shape. Find the hidden measurement with the help of the shape characteristic. The hidden measurement is 15 meters and 5 meters. Add it up. 15 meters plus 5 meters plus 5 meters plus 15 meters plus 8 meters equal to 48 meters. Check the answer. Check whether all the sides of the shape are added up. The answer is 48 meter. Look at the diagram for clone UPSR 2004 paper 2. In this diagram, RSTW is a square. W, V, T and S, T, U are straight side. Calculate the parameter of the diagram. Understand the problem. There are some given information which is length of the certain side. Devise a plan. To find the parameter which is the total distance around the outside of a shape. Find the hidden measurement with the help of the shape characteristic. The hidden measurement is 8 cm because square has 4 equal sides and 4 right angles. Add it up. 8 plus 2 plus 10 plus 16 plus 8 equals to 44 centimeter. Check the answer. Check whether all the sides of the shape are added up. The answer is 44 centimeter. Find the parameter of the following object. Parameter is the total distance around the outside of an object or shape. Parameter equals to 5 plus 8 plus 13 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 equals to 42 centimeter. How do we get the measurement? Identify the characteristic of the shape. We have two shapes for this question. Square has four equal sides and four right angles. Rectangle has two pairs of equal side and four right angles. So, by knowing the character, we can find the parameter even though some of the length and the side are hidden. Hidden measurement 5 plus 3 equals to 8 centimeter. 13 minus 5 equals to 8 centimeter. Add up and we get the parameter of the shape which is equivalent to 42 cm. How about this parameter of 2 square? We know that the character of a square which has 4 equal straight sides and 4 right angles. In this problem, let us solve the hidden measurement on this question. We can see that it is an equal size. So, we divide it into 2 and make it even. 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 centimeter. 
Now that we know the whole of the measurement, let's add them up. 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 4 plus 8 equal to 56 centimeter. We have come to the end of this episode. See you in the second part of the shape and space topic. Bye-bye. the math space station i'm ultraman as usual i will take you guys on a journey to better understand your math with the help of my space gadget in this episode we will continue to discuss on the topic of shape and space let me remind you on the last episode we have discussed about shape and their characteristic let us do a quick recap do you still remember what perimeter is? Good, that is right. Perimeter is the total distance around the outside of an object or shape. It is measured in metric or imperial unit. Today's discussion is about area. Area derived from a Latin word means vacant place of level ground. In mathematics, area of shape is the amount surface it cover. The unit of measurement for area is called square unit. For example, if you use metric unit, it will be measured in square centimeter, square meter, or square kilometer. Before we begin, let's look at this playback. Triangle. Triangle is divided into 1. Equilateral triangle. It has 3 equal sides and 3 equal angles of 60 degrees. 2. Isosceles triangle. The triangle has two equal sides and two equal angles. 3. Scalene triangle. This triangle has no equal side and no equal angle. 4. Right angle triangle. One of its angles is a right angle. Quadrilateral shape has four sides. Some of the quadrilaterals are 1. Square which have four equal sides and four right angles. Two, rectangle, with two pairs of equal sides and four right angles. Three, rhombus or squash square. This shape has four equal sides, which opposite sides are parallel and opposite angles are equal. Parallelogram squash rectangle. This shape has 
pairs of equal side which opposite side are parallel and opposite angle are equal. Trapezium. This shape contain one pair of parallel side of different length. Kite. This shape have two pairs of equal side next to each other and no parallel side. Circle, it is made of all the points that are the same distance from the center point. A diameter measures the distance right across the middle of the circle and radius, the distance halfway across the circle. Radius is always half the length of the diameter. Polygons are shapes with many straight sides. Regular polygons have equal angles and sides of equal length. Irregular polygons have sides of different length. Polygons are divided to one pentagon, which have five sides. Two hexagon, which have six sides. Three heptagons, which has seven sides. And four octagons, which has eight sides. So many things to remember. As I said in earlier episode, for year 5, you only need to master the shape and character of A square, rectangle, triangle, equilateral triangle, and isosceles triangle. Let's move on. We begin with how to calculate area. Look at the example. The area of a square is a floor area of your new bedroom. If you want to put a carpet in the room, you have to calculate the area of its flat surface. To calculate area of a square, you need to multiply length by width. So, A multiplied by A equal to 2A square. Let's say the length and the width is 5 meters. 5 meters multiplied by 5 equal to 25 meters square. The answer is 25 meters square. So, you need 25 meters square to have a carpeted floor in your new room. How to calculate the area if it were a rectangle? To calculate area of a rectangle, you need to multiply length by width. So, A multiplied by B equal to AB square. If the length equal to 10 meters and the width equal to 5 meters, you have to multiply 10 by 5 which equal to 50 meters square. The answer is 50 meters square. 50 meters square needed in order to cover all the flat surface in your rectangle room. Welcome again to Problem Solving Skills section on this episode. As usual, take out a piece of paper and a pencil. Let's solve some mathematical problem. Today's question are regarding the area of composite two-dimensional shapes. Before we start, let's recap. Area is the amount of surface is covered. Let's do an easy one first. Look at the diagram. In this question, the area of shape on a grid can be found by counting the number of units square is covered on the grid paper. Let's count the square. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The answer is 12 unit square. Do you know that two different shapes can be the same area? Here is the example. You see, two different shapes can be the same area. Question 2. Find the area of a shape by counting the unit square. Look at the diagram. To make it easier, you can divide the area into two. A and B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Area A equal to 8 unit square. 1, 2, 3, 4. Area B equal to 4 unit square. Let's add up the total to get the whole area. 8 plus 4 equal to 12 unit square. The answer is 
12 units square. Let's solve problem involving area. My friend has two identical rectangular cards. She placed them as shown in the diagram. Find the total area of the two cards. For this question, let us use this guideline. First, understand the problem. Two identical rectangular cards and area of two cards. Second, devise a plan. Use formula of area. Area equal to length multiplied by width. Carry out a plan. Area P is 4 cm multiplied by 8 cm equal to 32 cm square. Area Q, 4 cm multiplied by 8 cm equal to 32 cm square. Total area is 32 cm square plus 32 cm square equal to 64 cm square. Check the answer. Multiply and add again to check the answer. The answer is 64 cm square. Let's do another one. A piece of rock 3 meter by 2 meter was placed on the floor. Calculate the area of the floor that is not covered by the rock. Let us use this guideline. First, understand the problem. Measurement of the rock is 3 meters by 2 meters. Find the area that is not covered by the rock. Second, devise a plan. Find the length and the width of the outer area. To get the length, 3 meters plus 1 meters plus 1 meter equal to 5 meter. The width, 2 meters plus 1 meter plus 1 meter equal to 4 meter. Third, carry out a plan. Use the formula of area. Area equal to length multiplied by width. Area of the floor, 5 meter multiplied by 4 meter equal to 20 meter square. Area of the rock is 3 meters multiplied by 2 meters equal to 6 meters square. Subtract the floor area and the rock area to get the area not covered by the rock. 20 meters square subtract 6 meters square equals to 14 meters square. Fourth, check the answer. Multiply and subtract again to get the answer. The answer is 14 meters square. Let's count the square to get the answer. 1, 2, 2 square. Let's count the triangle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 triangle. As this is a equilateral triangle, it has 2 equal sides and 3 equal angles. As you can see, 2 equilateral triangle can be combined to make 1 square. Let's divide the 8 triangles to get 4 square. 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Now, let's add up the centimeter square. 2 centimeter square plus 4 centimeter square equal to 6 centimeter square. The shape has an area of 6 centimeter square. The answer is 6 centimeter square. Find the area of the following diagram. We begin the calculation by simplifying it into two segments, A and B. 